there an example? You said I told a lot of lies tonight. What would be an example of a that? Lies tonight? Well, no, you didn't say lies tonight. You lack rationality. You didn't cite any evidence to, to talk about the climate change. I said uh, that the, the uh, mankind is not going to be wiped out within 20 years because no science scientist would disagree. says... I'm sorry? Science would disagree. Uh, which scientist? The, uh, the 97% of all scientists who say that say one that to two degrees Celsius <laughs> will melt the ice caps such that there will be rising sea levels, mass extinctions, and it won't end the Earth, but it will change to a certain point the ecology of our planet such that it is much more difficult for humans to survive. That is the consensus. And a lot of climate change deniers like yourself, like Ben, like Clavin, they, they, they perpetuate that this is all a liberal hoax, and that, and that science... No, I'm not saying it's a liberal... I mean, it's obviously being pushed by politicians, primarily. That's obviously. why at the United Nations, it's, it's not... politics. A politicians are going to push political issues. Right, it's politics, not science. That's my point. <laughs> no, you take the science, and then you say, I don't Wh Which study? Because what you're, what you're citing, that 97% number has been around for a long time. Al Gore used it in his movie. One issue with that is... First of all, science is not made by consensus. But second of all, the questions that were asked were such broad questions as to a whole array of scientists, many of whom had no expertise in the climate whatsoever. So the, the, to use a, a, a consensus number, especially one that's so old and was, has been so manipulated by politicians, is, I think, not really getting to the point. We don't, we don't take polls to figure out scientific data. So if you think the world is going to end in 20 years, as poli oh, I thought you said that you thought so. It's going to change to a certain point such a human habitation will be more difficult and it will be vastly different. I'm not a doomsday, you know, idiot. And it's not an old figure. It's ongoing. It's right now. You no, it, it no it's a, that's a figure it's is decades old. old. It's right now. The 97% figure is decades old. This guy thinks that the entire population is going to be wiped out in a matter of a few years. And that's just political talking points that come from AOC and her insane friends. This kid is a child. And he wants to talk about back when he was a kid. Back when you were a kid, you are still a kid. And you are a pretty uneducated kid if you ask me. Not completely. The climate does change. It's called winter turns to spring, spring turns to summer, blah blah blah, seasons change. And also the earth goes through phases of warm and phases of cold. We had an ice age, we had a hot age, it's not going to kill us. Michael Knowles understands that this is just the climate flows. This kid is a total stereotype and pretty much a know-it-all kind of a loser. Clearly, this kid does not understand that Al Gore told us that by this time in our history, the whole world would be underwater and we all would be dead. So when kids like this talk, you just have to understand they don't actually know what they are talking about. They just repeat the stupidity that they hear from the stupid Democrat politicians who actually do know better, but just want to treat them. And I think that we almost have to have mercy on them because they don't really know how dumb they truly sound.